Hey YouTubers, thanks so much for checking out our video. For those of you that don't know us, I'm Trish. And I'm Jose. We're with Just Dance, and in this series, we're gonna be giving you tips to improve your posture, frame, technique, connection, and musicality in the common patterns of the cha-cha-cha. So let's go ahead and get to it. <laughs> All right, so in today's video, we are gonna be giving you tips to improve your posture, your frame, and your musicality in the basic step. Okay, so the first tip we're gonna go over is posture. What I'm talking about is the blocks of weight and how our weight is shifted forward towards the balls of our feet. So when I'm talking about the blocks of weight, there's four components to, to it. You have your head, shoulders, ribs, and your hip. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna have your head over your shoulders, your shoulders over your ribs, and your ribs over your hips. Now once you have all those blocks of weight in line, you're gonna, you're gonna shift your weight forward towards the bottom of your feet so that your heels are lightly touching the floor. This is gonna put us in a excellent position to connect with our partner and have a good frame. So let's go ahead and come on over here. So once we have our alignment, which means He's nice and aligned and balanced. I am nice and aligned and balanced. Now we are ready to connect with each other. So what's gonna happen is because our weight is forward and we're gonna have tone in our connected arms here so that the elbows don't collapse behind our body, we want them to have just a little bit of firmness. That way we have energy towards our partner. We can feel each other's weight, but we're not leaning on each other. Then we're going to turn around so you can see the other side. He's going to take his hand, connect with my shoulder blade with his fingers and thumb together. I'm going to make sure my bicep goes on his forearm and then my hand's going to rest gently on his shoulder. We have a nice round frame. My tip for you to improve your frame is to always imagine that there is a ball in between you and your partner so that you have space to move your knees dance your body and stay connected while you're dancing this rhythm and Latin dance. So now that we have our frame and our good posture, we're ready to do our basic step. So the basic step looks like this. Let's go ahead and scoot this way and we'll turn this direction. All right, and we're gonna show you a few different um, angles. So starting with uh, the leader's left and followers right, we have one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four and one, two, three, last time, four and one, last set here, four and. Okay, we're gonna turn around so that you can see Jose's part. Again, we establish good posture, we establish good frame, we're both leaning in towards each other with a little bit of tone in our arms. We have one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, very good. That is your basic step in the cha-cha-cha. And um, next I want to talk about our musicality. So notice that when I counted, I said one, two, three, and then four and. Now we're taking five steps in our basic, okay? We're stepping one, two, three, four, five. That's half of a basic, five steps. Then the other half would proceed. One, two, three, four, five. That is not the rhythm, that is not the count. I am simply counting my weight changes in a half of a basic, okay? So the way that we want to count our rhythm is going to go one, two, three, four, and. Then one, two, three, four, and. Now, anytime we say a whole number, such as one, two, three, those all indicate a full beat. So you have a quarter note. So every time I take my one, two, three in this basic rhythm, I am using a full beat of music. So that would go whole beat, whole beat, whole beat. Okay, so those are all whole beats, which means I get to dance full body action. 
You'll need to check out a video coming soon to learn more about body action and musicality. Um, but then we go into our four and. Anytime you hear the count and, it is going to indicate half of a beat, okay? So we want to make sure that when we're counting for and, we understand that together, that is one beat of music, but we are taking two steps. So that means that we are going to split that whole beat into two, okay? Which means half, half. So anytime you hear the word and, that means half. Anytime you hear the word ah, uh, that means quarter or third. In this case, we're saying and. We want to dance half of a beat. That doesn't mean that as you advance in this dance, we won't use other syncopated counts, but for our basic rhythm, we're splitting it in half. So my tip for you today is to listen to the music and focus on your beat value on each step so that you can improve your timing and musicality in this dance. And the best way to do that is by doing this with the basic step. So don't try to do your hardest move when you're working on your timing. First start basic and then build from there. So we have our basic step with the counts and I'm gonna count the beat value. So we have a whole beat, a whole beat, a whole beat, then half, half, whole beat, whole beat, whole beat, half, half, whole, 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 half, half, whole, 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 we'll end here, half, half. So on the first two steps of your chasse, these steps are quicker, half, half. And then on that third step, we get to take a full beat, okay? So we're gonna turn around and dance it this direction now, side by side. And I'm gonna use numbers instead of beat values. So now I'm gonna count the rhythm. And um, I recommend that you get up and do this with us, okay? Here we go. Five, six, seven to the left. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and last one, two, three, four, and. My other musicality tip for you is when you count, count it the way that you want to dance it. So don't count to match how slow your feet want to go. Count it as fast as your feet need to go. You set your tone so you have your metronome. Here's your, your bass, your beat value right here. These are whole beats. When you count, you need to be consistent with that, okay? So we have one, two, three, four, and 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 one. That's kind of hard to do. <laughs> so I'm counting, I'm clapping the whole beats but still dancing the regular beat. My point is, is you don't want to create a habit of slowing down on that chasse because it needs to still indicate half of that beat. All right, so let's do a quick recap of what we went over today. First, we covered. So first, we covered our posture and the blocks of weight going over the head, shoulders, ribs, and hip and how you want them all to be in line with each other. Then once you have those all in line, you're going to shift your weight forward onto the balls of your feet. Yes, which then goes into our second tip, which was on frame and our connection. Of course, they kind of go hand in hand. By having the weight shifted forward, you're able to establish a nice connection and energy towards your partner, as long as you remember that you need to maintain tone in your arms. So we don't want to be tense and we don't want to be loose and collapse. We want to just simply hold our arms up with some energy and have tone in them so that we don't collapse. And then from there, we connect with our partner. Um, Jose takes his hand around the follower's back and the follower takes the bicep on the leader's right arm and then connects gently on top of the shoulder. Now we're ready to dance and that took us into our third tip, which was our timing, our basic rhythm in the cha-cha-cha, which has a uh, syncopated rhythm of whole, 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 then half, half. 
And my tip for you on that was to count it the way you want to dance it. Don't slow down your count on that syncopated timing or you're going to have a hard time keeping up with this fast dance. So practice, let us know if you have any questions in the comments below. And as always, hit the subscribe bell so that you can get notified for videos we do on a regular basis. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.